everybody. It's Adam. And Gary. From Brighton Gale, and today we're talking about PTZ cameras. What is a PTZ camera? In, in most basic terms, it's pan, tilt, and you can't see it, but zoom in and out. You really shouldn't do that to the camera. Yeah, don't do that to your don't PTZ cameras. It's really bad for them. Just let the motors do the work. Don't do it for them. So when do you use a PTC camera? Is it when you need to pan to see the subject, tilt to see the subject, or and or zoom to see the subject? Yes, yes, yes. True, 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 true. Traditionally, you'd use operated cameras. So there's a person at every camera, they're steering the cameras, they've got a headset, they've got the mic. And the beauty of PTZ cameras is it really allows just one or two people to control almost an unlimited number of cameras. So the question is, well, why on earth doesn't just everybody use PTZ cameras? And uh, the honest truth, um, and maybe some of these manufacturers wouldn't really want to say it, they still don't look as good as broadcast cameras. However, broadcast cameras are really expensive and they cost tens of thousands, up well over $100,000 depending on how you outfit them. And you gotta have people to drive each one. Yeah, <laughs> each, each, each camera, not the PCZ, but like the normal broadcast camera, you gotta have a, a person back there like doing the thing, like, you know, zooming in on the, on the subject, like zooming out, panning, and tilting, that, that sort of thing that these things uh, do without, a, without you know, a human behind each one. Everything that you see on the table here is $10,000 and less, with this one coming in at just a hair over a thousand. Who we've got represented on the table today, uh, we've got uh, Marshall Electronics. On the far side, we've got Sony. Those two are better known. And this one is uh, Minray, and this is gonna be the focus of this video. Um, and it's just because it's a really, really unique camera that comes in at a great price point with a great set of features. So like most manufacturers, uh, Minray has a lot of options, not only when it comes to this camera, but they've got a whole camera line. But can you tell me a little bit more about what options are available for this camera? Sure, absolutely. Uh, like Adam said, there's a few different lines. This one we have in front of us today is a UV510A series camera, which has a few different options even within that series. We have a few different output choices. We have USB, we have HDMI. SDI, uh, there's also different uh, zooms that we can have. So we can have five times zoom, up to 30 times zoom with a few flavors in between. This particular model um, features the SDI connection, the HDMI connection, and the LAN port. So we can use a SDI to go into kind of a more professional video kind of setup. Next is HDMI. Everybody knows HDMI, you can plug it right into a TV, right into some uh, video switcher, awesome. You can also grab the stream off of the network, so you can uh, plug this into a network and grab the stream that way. That can actually be set up to go to YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook, or it can also be set up to uh, stream to software like Wirecast or OBS. And when it's connected to a network, it can be controlled by one of these great controllers. Um, you've got a few, joystick, steer it up and down, left, right, zoom in and out, recall presets using the number pad. Awesome. A lot of the cameras, not all of them, but can also be powered over the network port uh, using PoE. If you can connect them with one cable to a network switch, it will power it, it will give you control, and it'll give you a video stream. And that is awesome. That's, an, that's incredibly powerful. It's, it's, it's so much better than trying to run three cables to a camera. You got a control cable, you got a power cable, and then you've got the, the actual video cable. If you just do it all with one cable, like, man, so much easier just across the board. And that's why the use case for these is, is so broad, right? So whether you're a, a rental company that needs to put a whole bunch of cameras out and you want quick setup, one cable. Whether you're a church trying to do a live stream, one cable. Whether you have a conference room, one cable. We've installed a lot of these sorts of products in fitness studios, uh, in churches. We've installed them in conference rooms. Basically anywhere that you need a video camera, these cameras fit in. And there's something across these manufacturers and across these product lines that's gonna fit almost every single use case and be a lot more cost effective than what you know maybe traditional solutions would have been. But what we wanna do now is we wanna see what does this camera look like? So we're gonna take this camera Put it in the place of the camera that you're watching on and see what it looks like. And star wipe. All right, so this is what the Minray camera looks like. Uh, right now it's about, ooh, what'd you say, 10 or 12 feet away yeah, from yeah, us? Yeah, something like that, yeah. And this is its widest shot uh, at this angle. 
Um, typically, this, this would be great for a, a, a conference room, a small huddle space. Um, they also have wider field of view cameras if you need to go a little bit wider. Yep. This is also great because this particular model has 20 times zoom. Oh man, that's um, all mini. That's a lot of minis. That's a lot of minis. That's a lot of minis. Yeah. So I'm going to try to steer the camera upside down because uh, I've got the joystick backwards here. So uh, let's see if we can see Gary. Oh. Oh, we're getting oh. there. We're getting there. Oh. We're getting there. Oh. Oh. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring, Bring it in. in. And so uh, that's a very tight shot on Gary. It's very tight. I, and, I like it, though. This is, this is a good look. This is a good look. I, I mean, we could go tighter. Yeah. We could go okay. tighter. Ready? Right. I mean, we do have 20 times zoom. Right. Well, you can see my like uh, burrow. So good. Yeah, it, it looks really nice. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so today I know we've really only showed you the Minery camera, but please stay tuned because we're actually going to do a shootout between some of the most popular PTZ cameras on the market. We're going to talk about like the great features that a lot of different cameras have. And so it's going to be a lot of the big manufacturers you've heard of from Sony, Panasonic, Marshall. We're going to include PTZ Optics, like the great camera that's been out on the market for a little while and has uh, really taken the market by storm. And then we'll throw the Minray camera in there as well. Please stay tuned for that. Uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And if you're interested in PTZ cameras, that's gonna be a really, really beneficial tool to help make your decision. Or if you need to make the decision before we make that video, give us a call. We're always happy to help and we're always happy to pick the right products for your application. Thank you guys.